Hello guys, I'm Parajin and welcome back to a new video. Today we're here for a new speed build and this one is pretty nice. I know I probably say it about every single one of my houses, but uh, I think this one looks so nice. This time I tried to go for a, I think, it, I mean, I called it a tiny cottage, but it's, it's more of a, I think it's more of a Craftman, let me search craft Cra oh my god I can't search craftman house yeah let's see obviously it auto corrupted no craftman thank you yeah well it's not uh, uh it's not exactly a craftman but you'll see it's it's like a tiny cottage that you would one of the type that you would probably find where I live in Switzerland, like in the mountains, with a big chimney, really tiny, really cozy, and I honestly, honestly love it. It's so beautiful, and I mean, it's a bit tiny, but I wouldn't say that I'd love to live here, but I would probably love to spend some days here up in the mountains where it's cool and cold because oh my god oh if it's it's really this weather is testing my patient it's i remember <laughs> last month i was already like complaining about how hot it was and there were like 25 celsius outside now i live in switzerland in which is like central europe um near italy near germany near france and it's unbearable. Uh, I honestly don't know. I, uh, it, I don't. I have. I am just speechless. I, I can survive this hot, this this heat. Heat. It's too much. Uh, and literally, I live in um, a half basement. Like my room, it's half in a basement. I just have a tiny, tiny uh, window, which technically would make it better because the cold it's like preserved in my room thing is that if um hot air come in my room um ju it just like gets trapped and there's no way i'm going to let it out which means that if my room gets hot then it's going to stay hot it, and I'm, and i'm stuck in a hot room but thank god like yesterday, I mean, we have had like one of the worst weeks of, I think, of the entire er Europe existence, because like half Europe, it's um, it's burning right now. <laughs> I've read some news and yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, not Switzerland, I think, but still, I live almost in but I, I live in between mountains you know uh, I'm not that high up I'm like I think I'm more or less um, 500 meters in the sky <laughs> I don't know how to say but like we're pretty high up and it's not normal how hot it is obviously and yeah and the past week we've had like I think a uh, 35 uh, Celsius of average per day and it's absolutely not normal and it's even worse for me because I am I am a snow person I, I probably descend from the Neanderthal people because I, I really can't stand hot and heat and everything else that starts with those letters and it's just too much for me but I mean it's fine I'm surviving and I'm here with new videos so that means I'm doing pretty fine right but Jesus Christ I'm I'm just uh, I'm just like melting I um I hope I'm gonna survive this week because um I'll probably end up being like a puddle of mud so if you don't hear from me anymore, that's why. But yeah. Oh, well, thank God that 
like cool down a bit these days like yesterday night it stormed outside it's like uh, it's kind of funny because it looks like it's storm only on our house because <laughs> we have a big uh, garden well it's not big big but it's a garden and we have like some some uh banana trees and <laughs> the whole uh, place where i have banana trees it's completely destroyed it's so funny and also we have like a big curtain on top of our balcony uh, it's like an automated curtain you just uh, uh you can like uh, press a button and it just moves <laughs> And it's destroyed, completely destroyed. And it was unbelievable. And it was kind of funny too, because I was sleeping. It happened at 2 a.m. during the night. And I was sleeping, like peacefully sleeping, but it was too hot. And I suddenly, I just woke up, I don't know why, because I probably heard either thunder or my cat like started going crazy and it just woke, woke me up. But yeah, I... <laughs> I woke up and I woke up and I was like, oh, thank God, now it's storming. I can open the window and have and let some cold air in. And I opened the window like it was not not a big problem. Then I started hearing some like loud noises of people running around. And I was like, what the heck is going on in my house? And I went upstairs and there was my dad running around and trying to close all the windows because water was like storming inside of our house. And I was like looking at him and I was completely like, I, was, I wasn't even there. I don't know what I was doing, but my mind wasn't, wasn't awake at all. And then I realized and I was like, oh God. Oh no, my room. Also because my computer is directly in front of my windows. And, well, my only window. I just like ran downstairs um, in my room again. And I saw like the window was like completely open. And there was so much hair coming inside. I don't know. <sighs> that really got me panicking a bit. But I was able to close it. And nothing was injured. My computer is fine. My cats are fine. Probably a bit traumatized, but yeah, that's all. Uh, geez, I completely ignore my <laughs> build for the whole <laughs> length of the speed build. I'm sorry, but yeah, you can see here I was landscaping and uh, we're almost done with the speed build. I'm gonna tour the build once I jump into the game. But you can see the style, it's... I don't know how it's called, honestly. Neither in Italian, nor in English, nor in any other language that I know. But I think it will probably be like a... It's... Uh, I, I really don't know. Probably a cottagey... Not a suburban. Cottagey craftsman. Something... I don't know. But I'm sure you know, so that's great. But I think it looks nice and I also wanted to it to be like a bit overgrown and like the person that lives there, um, he's a really um, like big fan of flowers and I also added like a, the table where you can craft like cute flower thingies. Um, in a in a in a bunch. I'm sorry. I'm I don't know what I'm saying. I, I was just I was just so excited about sharing my my rough week and my rough night. <laughs> so, but we're done with the speed build and now I'm just gonna jump into the game and show you the house more close. And voila, that's the house. As you can see, it's I think it's pretty nice. I really like the style, I really like the, the colors of it. I think it's really, I mean, it doesn't really fit into this neighbor. It would probably be, be better in Hanford and Bagley, you know, or probably even in uh, Windenburg. Here's the entrance. We have El Saba there that it's not um, for sale, but <laughs> we have a lot of flowers, a big chimney, 
Um, I also here don't remove the flowers and the plants because there's part of the of the the fireplace coming out. I'm sorry, but I really wanted to use that fireplace because it's my favorite, and oh, I hate oh, nothing. I'm sorry. So you come in and there's the living room, which is tiny. I mean, it's it's just a tiny cottage, and here. I I really love this chimney. I'm sorry, I have to use this one. But you see, I put it in a diagonal wall on a diagonal wall and it kind of like come through like here it's it's hidden. But here it's not. So I try to hide it with some plants. We have a tiny living room with a bookcase and Oh, there's plants coming through the walls, don't mind that. The kitchen is also not so fancy, it's an uh, older kitchen. Bathroom here, really, really generic old bathroom. <laughs> and here, a door to the bedroom, which is, I think it's nice, it's also pretty generic, nothing fancy. Also, other plants coming through the walls, that's great. <laughs> Outside we go to the best part of the build, I think, because I love this backyard. We have some planter boxes because I imagine the person that lives here it's really really they have a passion for for flowers. So tiny planter boxes and big planter boxes. Some bees because bees are always amazing for oh wait, are these bees or I think they are, right? Oh, I don't know. Well, um, tiny boxes for um, tiny animals that um, I'm frightened of. And here the flower station where you can craft flowers and all the stuff. And I use these archways. These are like the weddings one, but they look good and they can still go around. Well, she she didn't, which is, but yeah. Okay, yeah, it's bees. That's great. That's the house for you. I think it looks really nice. I love it. And I hope you love it too. But thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like, leave a comment and follow me if you want. But that's all for today. Bye!